guys welcome back to my channel my name is precious and this is precious touch tv if you're just joining me welcome if you've been here before thank you for stopping by again so today i am going to be discussing best side hustle ideas for millennials living in nigeria or millennials anywhere in the world basically so these are side hustles that you can pick up as a young person and develop them into becoming businesses in the future or bigger hustles as you go by so just keep watching till the end to find out what the top side hustles for young people in the world these days are keep watching we have a lot of young people these days that you know have full-time jobs and would like to earn a, a little extra income on the side but are not really sure on what kind of hustles or what kind of businesses they should start up on the side i just want to give a few of them there are a million and one things you can do on the side as a young person in the world now you know but i just wanted to give you a few of them so that you could decide what exactly it is that fits you and what it is that you can take up easily in addition to your current nine to five or your full-time job so in no particular order i'm going to start with the first one makeup artistry like we have a million and one makeup artists yes i know but i know that makeup artistry is something that you could pick up easily not without the skill though you need to first of all you know invest time and money into learning the skill maybe not so much money but time to learn the skill and then begin to practice 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 for makeup artistry consistency and practice is key also following trends could help you to you know develop and improve your craft so makeup artistry is the number one side hustle that especially young women in nigeria or anywhere in the world can pick up you know in addition to whatever it is that they do during the week so it's something that you can do on the weekends it is something that you can do after work it's something that you can do for family friends neighbors sisters you know and make a little money on the side so makeup artistry is my number one side hustle for a young person living in nigeria photography photography is another side hustle that pays like mad these days when i say pays like mad i don't mean that they're counting their money in millions so what i mean is that it pays to be a photographer these days because we have a lot of people that want to document their lives, their events, their adventures, you know, mark birthdays, mark anniversaries, name it. People want to document and some people, you know, will prefer if somebody that is somewhat of a professional does it for them. There's also the part that, you know, enables you to be very flexible with photography. So it's something that you can buy like your, your camera and carry about so if you are a photographer that wants to go into documentary filming and um, just capturing moments basically it is easy to pick up a photography to, to pick up photography as a side hustle being a video editor so being a video editor is also another side hustle that a young person can start you know learning now and then in a few months time you know or in a short period they can get their hands on whatever it is that um, being a video editor is all about with the help of you know apps and basically having a laptop they can get their hands ar around this you know being techie could also be an advantage but it's not a basic requirement the passion i think passion and your drive and interest in you know video editing is enough so i think that um being a video editor is also a good side hustle that you could pick up and you know offer your services or your professional services during the week you know at the end of the day or on the weekends or it's something that you can handle as a project that you manage you know off work so being a video editor is another good side hustle that young people should pick up so moving on to side hustles more and more side hustles being a brand influencer or an influencer or a niche influencer basically being an influencer so what it requires for you to be an influencer these days is just to be yourself you know just to live your life be yourself and sell it to the world so um being an influencer is tricky because i mean you have a lot of people that are celebrities and are also influencers so to say but being a sole influencer is something you can do if you have interest in a particular um product or you have interest in a particular lifestyle so for example i will use fashionistas and naturalistas as examples so if you are into natural hair you're obsessed with grooming your natural hair ensuring that it is healthy you can continue to you know showcase how much you how much time you put into these things and document it 
you know, with time, brands will begin to notice you and then you can begin to help them to influence, do reviews on products and things like that. Then also being a fashionista, being someone that likes fashion, that you know, wants to wear what's trending, what's in vogue and things like that. With time, designers and, you know, couture people begin to notice you too and then as time goes on, you can, you know, equally become an influencer for them. It might not be the quickest um, side hustle to adopt but it's something that young people should actually begin to look at because I mean if you're a fashionable person and you work in a bank and it's only your customers and your colleagues that get to see your fashion I, there's nothing wrong in developing a side hustle from just looking good I mean you're, you already look good so why not just make some money out of it so that's my take on being an influencer so another side hustle that young people living in Nigeria can pick up easily is being an agri-tech farmer so what do i mean by this you can actually be a farmer in nigeria these days without owning a farm so there are a lot of platforms for investing in agriculture that doesn't necessarily need you to own a plot of land or go to the farm and till the land do you understand so you can research this you can google it you can just find out you know ways to invest in agriculture you know no matter how little you know money you have and um, you can make it a side hustle. How do you make it a side hustle? You basically say, you know what, I want to dedicate this amount of money to um, farming or to agriculture. And then as your, you know, your returns mature, you reinvest it. So at the end of the year, you'll be able to actually see the amount of money you've made from, you know, agriculture as a side hustle. So I think agri-tech farming is another, is another side hustle that young people, especially in Nigeria, should begin to do that. Another very important side hustle in this country is modeling. What will I be saying about side hustles if I do not say modeling is one of it? Like, if you are a young person in this Nigeria, be it boy, be it girl, and you have, you know, the looks, you have the height. You might not necessarily have the height or the looks, but you have the physique, you know, and you feel like you have a passion for modeling, for being in front of the camera, for showcasing products, you know, showcasing clothes, then I will by all means urge you to give it a shot while you are young like you have nothing to lose absolutely nothing and it will put money in your pocket so there are a lot of agencies now you know Nigerian own um, modeling agencies that can help out um, you could also freelance as a model another thing that you need to do as a, an upcoming model or you know a side hustling model is to ensure that you go for auditions know where the auditions are happening get into the mix get to know people in the industry and then you decide what niche in modeling you want to focus on so if you want to focus on being an ushering model or a fashion model or a runway model just carve your niche begin to work on it and explore your youth as a model so another thing that you can pick up as a side hustle as a young person in this country is being a graphic designer or being a website builder like if you are techie you know how to code even if you don't know how to code you can learn it even if you don't have like the advanced knowledge in these things we have a lot of small businesses that are looking for people to do the basic things for them oh help them design their logos oh people to design flyers oh people to take care of you know their branding people to ensure that you know they have a website that is functioning a lot of small businesses are looking for people to help them to you know you know bridge that gap and then you find that this small business cannot afford a very expensive services so as a young person you can leverage being a graphic designer being a website builder to offer your services on the weekends you know after that to all the small businesses that need your services so these are definitely things that you should you know pick up as side hustles moving on the side hustles are plenty of you guys are saying that there is a million and one things that one could do if you just put your mind to it so these days we have people that are coaches or teachers of different things like i can't even say oh one of your side hustles should be to be a coach or to be a teacher you don't necessarily have to be a football coach or a sports coach or a teacher in a classroom to teach people these days there are very many ways that you can teach you can teach people how to public speak you can teach people makeup whatever it is that you are good at you can actually form a community and teach people you know how to um, you know become like you in, in in your field and if you're saying oh where do i get my audience audience from well at this point i cannot really tell you how to get your audience but i can make a suggestion you can start from the youth church in your local community you can start from the youth church in your church in your place of worship you can start from children in your compound teenagers around you young people around you you can start from your fr friends and family i'm sure there are 
two or three people around you that need one or two services or you know coaching that you have to offer and you can start from there and then begin to grow and build your audience basically find yourself and take people along with you on that journey of finding as well so when you hear somebody is a coach or a teacher it doesn't necessarily mean the person is a guru or an expert it just means that the person is willing to submit themselves to teaching other people you know and guiding other people just like you know they have just to make it easier for those people and there's absolutely nothing wrong in being a coach now i've spoken about many of the abstract things now let me get down to things that have been on as old as time so buying and selling is as old as time right from the days of our forefathers the days of the people in the books of history buying and selling merchandising has always been a means of livelihood now in addition to whatever it is that you are doing you can always buy and sell on the side you know so I'm going to group these things together whether you are buying and selling hair whether you are buying and selling cosmetics whether you are buying and selling underwear whether you are buying and selling shoes the important thing is that you are buying and selling so just look around you what gap can you fill where you are or have you noticed that people like looking at your shoes or you, you you know you know how to pick nice shoes and people around you always admire your shoes asking where do you get your shoes from that might just be a market for you you know if you are into hair oh i love your hair your hair is nice is it peruvian or brazilian begin to tell them oh i can actually get it for you begin to you know discover what your market is and then try and feed that market oh is it your skin oh i love your skin your skin is glowing what did you use what did you mix tell them you bring it for them begin to you know sell cosmetics you smell nice oh what perfume did you use what fragrance is it perfume oil or kiniko kiniko ensure that you leverage it so my point is whether you're going to be a perfume retailer, a cosmetic retailer, a hair retailer, or a shoe retailer, whatever it is you want to buy and sell. Buying and selling is a side hustle that is as old as time and will continuously be there without wasting much time. There are also other things that you can offer people as services. You can be a painter. I know somebody that was a professional painter and he was a woman. You can offer people painting services. You can start from small shops. Oh, I actually paint. Oh, really? What will it cost to paint this shop? You do your estimates, do your research, learn the skill. Don't just say I'm a painter and use toothbrush to go and paint people's walls. So learn the skill, get the equipment and begin to offer your services. And you'll find that probably every other weekend you have a painting job to attend to. It's extra money in your pocket. There's also the, the part where you can actually be somebody that offers janitorial services what do i mean by this so you can actually be a professional cleaner you help people to clean their homes their office space their you know compound during the weekend and it might not necessarily be you doing it directly you can actually be the brain behind the team doing it so you galvanize young people so you find that even in offering this service you, you're already becoming a creator of you know employment and you're employing people and the chain is like that, like, it's just like a ripple effect. So I really encourage you as a young person to just find what it is that you can do wherever you can do it and start doing it because it is very important. And I will also note, like to note this, okay, so I think I have covered um, all the side hustles I want to talk about. There's one I didn't mention, it just came to my head now, being a fashion designer. So you can make fashion your side hustle you can either be a seller of fashion or the creator you know the brain behind the designs you can you can actually be a tailor a bespoke tailor you know and offer bespoke services you go to work during the week and during the weekends you work on the clothes you've collected from your clients remember it's side hustle so you also need to explain to your clients that look I, I may not be able to deliver as quick as somebody that is doing this full-time and if they're comfortable with it then you ensure that you deliver when you say you deliver so haven't covered all this I don't think there's any young person here that wants to make extra income on the side that will not find one or two things that they can you know leverage or do on the side and don't forget when we say side hustle is actually a hustle some people do this hustle full-time so sometimes it might get competitive because you are doing it on the side it's somebody's full-time job so also put into consideration when choosing your side hustle is this something that you might be willing to quit your full-time job and face on the long run when the demand starts coming is this something that you enjoy doing 
for you to be putting in extra hours to do these things is something that will actually yield the kind of um, reward you are looking for so when you put all these things into consideration then you'll be able to choose what side hustle you want to pick and also do not forget that whether it is a side hustle, whether it is a full-time hustle, you need to put in work. If it's about learning a skill, you need to learn a skill, you need to be twice as good. If it's about um, delivering a service, you need to be, you know, very, very effective. Then if it's about your lifestyle, you need to be up and doing with regards to trends, you need to know what's going on. You cannot be living in 1992 when people have moved on to 2022, you know. So basically, whatever side hustle you pick, ensure that it's one you enjoy one that will give you the kind of reward you're looking for, one that you might consider you know, developing into a full-time business on the long run, and definitely, definitely something that you can manage with your current job. I've been speaking for too long. I think I've covered this sub uh, side hustle subject. Until I come your way next time, I remain precious. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know the kind of videos you want me to be making. I mean, you've already watched the video to this point, so go ahead and click the subscribe button. And oh, there's a new one. I just learned that there's a bell beside the subscribe button. Please click the bell too, so that whenever I drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. See you in the next video. Bye.